your hands off of our signs. Call the police, please. What could possibly go into your head thinking that would be a good idea? We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. At Created Equal, our mission is to defend every person's natural right to life by ending the injustice of abortion. Our primary way of doing this is by displaying the victims of abortion in the public square. Through our conversations, we have changed thousands of minds on abortion and saved dozens of lives. But there are some who oppose us. We routinely face vandalism, harassment, censorship, and violence. But we are not backing down in the face of these threats. Created Equal leads a project called Operation Overpass where we display the victims of abortion to the traffic below. We do this so no one can forget the gruesome reality of abortion. In today's video, you'll see what happens when a driver decides to pull over and jump out of his car in an attempt to destroy our property. We are Created Equal. Get your hands off of our signs. Sir, you do not have a right to take our property. Please stop doing this or we'll call the police. Hey, 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 hey. Sir, this, sir. So we'll Excuse me, sir. You don't have a right to do this. Put your hands up. I'll see the f piss off you. Sir, why are you doing this? Sir, why are you doing this? Can, can you tell me? Vanny, would you call the police, please? Supply? Supply. Specialized plates, that's good, yeah. Supply? Supply with David Jarvis. David Jarvis, okay. No front plate, did Jaguar, black Jaguar. The police? Are you on the phone? She's connected me to him. Hey, we just had a, a overpass dismantling. Guy came by in a black Jaguar and he uh, started tearing down all the signs. He gave us his name, David Jarvis. And then he jumped in his car and drove away. So that's the situation. He's gone now. Yeah, we got a plate. He had a specialized plate. It just said supply. Hey, good morning. Uh, so we'd like to press charges. We have the plate and everything, so it shouldn't be too difficult to tra track down. I can give you his full name. Uh, it's just on my GoPro. I know his first name's David. Um, he said his name? said his full name, yeah. Let me see if I can run this all his information. Okay, that's him. That's him right there. That's on the the website. Yeah, I'm gonna drive down there. Let's see if it's down there. I figured that would be the end. <laughs> Sitting there by itself. Right here. Good morning, dear. Hello. How are you to 123 or 121? Did you need the air held or any other cards yeah. or anything? Let me come. I mean, why would you do that? <laughs> you guys want to come on in here? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. David? Hi. 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 Uh, can you tell us what happened today there on... Uh, the overpass? Uh, yeah. Radio 123 or 121 on a checkup. Did you need the air held or any other cars? Some offensive imagery. Uh, we're here, thanks. And uh, didn't feel it was necessary for everyone on the way to work this morning to, to see it, so I saw red. <laughs> and uh, I, I pulled back up and uh, pulled some signs down. Okay. Okay, yeah. They have, a, you know, that they have a right to do that, right? Uh, They're not yes. black in the. No, I, I, I know. You understand they, that? They do have a right. Um, I get it. Yes, I can. I can acknowledge that. Okay. So, you know that what you did lawfully 
you know you had no legal grounds to do what you did. You understand that, right? What what did, what? I know what I did wasn't right. Did you guys are welcome to sit down if you'd like. No, I'm all right. We, we sit down most of the time anyway in the cruiser. So. Um, well, you're going up, tearing down a sign. I don't know what kind of damage. We showed up. There's another mm -hmm. officer there at the scene getting a little bit more detailed information about what took place. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there was some threats made. Did you make any threats? Yeah, I said, if you touch me, I'll f sue the piss out of you. Okay. <laughs> so okay. I told him my name. I said, come find me. Okay. Because they said, oh, supply. Okay, big man. I said, David Jarvis, come find me. Um, for the city, How old are you? Me, 31. I just don't know what could possibly go into your head thinking that was a good idea. I mean, your personal opinions of abortion are yours. Right. Just like their personal opinions of abortions are theirs. They are lawfully allowed to do that. They've been doing it for weeks, if not months. It, yeah. I and, guess I and, take them out often and I... Uh, well, just, I'm just telling you what you did was wrong. Right. Um, Le legally wrong. You can't do that. They're lawfully protesting. That's sure. their right. Just like if you wanted to stand up there and hang posters up of whatever this place is called. Mm -hmm. You could do that. Sure. And they, nobody could come by and jerk your posters down and threaten them. Sure. So I, I, you, You're probably just lucky that it was some young kids out there and not some adults because it would probably have been a problem. Yeah. That you probably couldn't have handled. And then that would have been on you. I mean, if they assaulted me, hmm? just because I'm terrified. if you would have, if they would have talked to you the way you talked to them, what would you have done? And threatened them, what would you have done? So Dude, say it's your signs I'm up a, there. Okay, I, I say it's your it. signs up there, and somebody comes up and jerks them down. What are you going to do? I, I guess I'd be um, because they're saying you're confrontational with them. I mean, I didn't go there. I didn't go there with a big smile. Come see me. Come find me. That's a threat. Because I'd have drove right down here. If that had been me, and I'd have found you. Yeah. Well, I'm sure. Just they, like we uh, did. It, it That's a bad, 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 bad idea, buddy. Bad idea. And you have a contract with the city. Is that what you said? Uh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's a good idea. Well, and they could sue you for tearing their stuff down. Bring it. I don't care. See, that's that kind of attitude that got you where you're at right now, buddy. Well, my office. Huh? I, so, a couple things you, you want to think about. So, you got criminal damage and possibly vandalism, all right? And then the fact they're on the phone right now. The officer that's there is on the phone uh, inquiring about, I don't think it, I, I don't know, because I'm not a detective, but they're looking at a possible hate crime. And I, again, I don't know what you said. <laughs> okay. I, if, if they're, now, there's always two sides to every story. Right. They do have GoPros attached to them. There's video, there's yeah. cell phone video, there's these GoPros. I'm sure they were much more excited about it than I was. You made the decision to stop and tear their signs down. You could have drove by. You brought this on yourself. I'm not saying I did. Okay, well, it's not a fun and laughing matter. You think it's funny. I, I, I really don't. Uh, You're laughing. If I thought it was a prank, I would have. I, I don't. So basically, you're on your way to work, seeing the signs. It's not the first time they've been there, so. No. Now we and we've been called out there before. People just like yourself offended sure. by that, and there's nothing we can do. Right. You know, they're not in the roadway. They're not obstructing obstructing the uh, the traffic flow on the sidewalks. Just yeah. Yeah. They have, like he said, they have a right to do. something to think about, David. Honestly, like he said, um, you're taking the confrontation to them by going up and I know, I know, and that's sort of what they want. Yeah. Or, or just. Let them out there and go about your day. Outside of that, I mean, we'll, we'll be in touch if there's anything else. Okay. Um, but just like he said, keep it no, on. I, I didn't realize it was uh, such a big fuss. We were there briefly, but once we had the tag, a description of you, had the company that was attached to the tag, decided to come down here and see if we could snatch you up and talk sure. to you and find out what, what was going on. So um, if there's anything else to come down the pipe, we'll be in touch. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I would highly suggest that you not uh, partake in that activity, okay? And then I'll give you your copy here. Do you have any questions in regards to the ticket? Do they have to have a permit or anything to do that? Uh, no. Okay, because I'm... As long as they're not obstructing the traffic way. They need to be pain in their ass, and... Because you can't just hang signs without DOT approving them. Well, like they're not in the that... street. If they're not in the conviction ticket. I will, I will, thank you. I don't know. So... So, all right, I well, mean, it is what it is, man. Am I, so, 
just make sure you go to court on that date. Yeah, if you I just will. don't respond, my the issue yeah, I'm not right. it's, it's a bench warrant. Yeah, I'll have him take care of it. Thank you. All right. The nation that tolerates the killing of innocent human beings finds it intolerable to see the victims. No social reform movement in history has been successful without depicting the oppressed through imagery. They hate us because we show them that their works are wicked. They hate us because they know what they see cannot be denied. Those who have eyes to see will see. We endure the hatred because if we do not, the killing will never end. To make abortion illegal, we must first make it unthinkable. In order to end this injustice, we must expose abortion for what it is. When you are silent, children die. Your voice has the power to save lives. Use it. End ageism. End abortion. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. There are other shocking videos of attacks and censorship found in the boxes here. But more importantly, we travel across the country paying for gas, food, and equipment. It can be very costly, and we're banned from monetizing on social media, so we need your support to continue this life-saving work. Join us at createdequal.org. Your tax-deductible contribution ensures that we can keep exposing the censorship from the left as we fight for free speech and human rights and change minds on abortion. Together, we can end ageism and end abortion.